Hey you, what's up guys, The Camp in Russia here, welcome back to the Cube Evolution! Hope you guys are having a good day thus far, and lots and lots of stuff to accomplish today, so let's get right into it. So, first off, uh, updates on my farmland, don't know the last time I updated you, but here it is. Uh, I square, I, I went out a little bit more here, torched out, and started flattening the land by, by the dirt, or by placing dirt, and I got all the dirt from terraforming this uh this hill over here and making it look nice and pretty except that area i didn't do that you can probably tell the transition i don't actually mind terraforming it's kind of fun uh but yeah cool uh this is gonna tick me off though so i need to fix this fix 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 don't worry guys i got this see you can see i got a lot of stuff in my inventory that just goes to show we've got a lot planned uh especially just for the start of this video so yeah, and then I extended it over here. I've moved over, uh, so we've got coal, obsidian, gold, gold, and then here we've got our our four like randoms, like our skeleton, creeper, wither, glowstone, the stuff we're using for uh, for what? For the lily pad of fertility, L lily pads of fertility. That's all here, except the wither skulls. Those are just we need those anyways. And then boom, I've made a lot more land for uh for essence because I want to get to the essence you'll see in a sec uh this armor right here essence infused leggings mark three so this is the third tier and uh they allow you to fly and to do that we need uh this one's easy the infused diamonds is easy and then here i think yeah we got to do extreme essence so this is the costly stuff uh and i'll go through that in a second so we need a lot of essence so i i added another four rows of it Diamond is almost made it all the way to the end, and then here's my food source, and that's doing good. So, and we are going to keep working, we're going to work on automating this uh, soon, once the lily pads of fertility are done. But, it's, uh, I'm trying to debate whether to do it through Thomcraft Golems automate it, or use machinery to automate it. I haven't looked up the machinery part yet. I'm not debating what's easier for me. I'm debating what in the end will work more efficient and just make it easier for me in the end. Up front, uh, it doesn't matter which one's easier or harder. I'm assuming the machinery is harder, but I wouldn't mind getting this whole thing machinery operated. So once it's done, boom, we just do something. Plants, harvest, chest, good. That's my goal in the end, to get all my farms automated and just... Uh, I really want to be able to farm just like anything, have every seed, and therefore like people will come to me for trades and stuff, and I can get items I need by trading my seeds and items I'm growing, so stuff like that. Uh, all right, so uh, up to, I just I, I also cleared out a lot, like I made a lot more diamonds and stuff, so we got I did a lot of off-camera stuff basically. So what we're gonna do first though is I have spent uh, the last 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, getting these lily pads good and these lily pads of fertility take a while jeez louise cuz look at this I uh, I can make two lily pads with 16 so I actually did the math around I thought each one of these equaled one lily pad but it doesn't it takes eight of these so you can see I built up a lot of stacks of these splash fertilizer well the things we're running low on are just it's only uh nether wart and what else? Nether wart and glowstone is what we what we ran out of during the process. So I'm gonna have to make these nether wart farms a little bit bigger. Uh, but 12 more lily pads. You can see I have them spread out here just to evenly grow everything uh, pretty quick. Like we'll just go just go right right there. Uh, plop one down right here. Right. Let's go right there. We still got eight left, so of course I just want to fill all of these up just so it just max efficiency, and then at the same time I want it so that like none of the seeds fall into the water, so we just have all these lily pads, and we're also gonna extend over here soon, so might as well get them down over here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, more lily pads. We got four to five in each row, so that's uh that's looking better. Faster, faster growth. So that happened. That that that's that. Um, put these back, like so. And so in here, you can see I've made some. And we got the. It starts here. Essence dust. Then we go to weak essence. Then to regular essence. Then strong. Then extreme. And I think there's one more past that using this stone, but I haven't used. Uh, I haven't used these yet. So 
It takes a lot of these essence dust to make this. I don't even know right here these almost five stacks would be enough to make one of these extreme essence. That's why I need all the essence crops. Uh, but I have six in my inventory as well for these. So basically what you do is I have the five stones here. And you take the, the less one, the essence dust, and you use it on the weak infusion. And then you upgrade to this. And then you use this on the regular infusion. Then upgrade to regular essence. Regular essence to strong, to strong essence. So it just it's just a pattern like that. Pretty easy. Cool. Now let's make the interesting stuff. So I'm excited for this. So what do we got first? Let's make a... Uh, Let's craft ourselves. What do I? So we're making the portal gun today, and we're making a uh, essence. We'll do the essence, uh, essence infused diamond sword. So we're gonna be making uh, the essence sword. So it takes six essence. So we have that in my inventory. Diamond sword and blaze rod have that. All I need is this infused diamond, and that's a diamond with obsidian and gold surroundings. So I've got the stuff ready already on me. Uh, hopefully I do this the right way or was it opposite we'll see opposite of course rusher does it wrong of course he does it the wrong way why is it that working essence sword oh infused diamond diamond in the middle my bad uh infused diamond now it's uh, infused diamond to diamond sword to that so boom boom yeah this extreme essence was the hardest part to get right there Boom, we've got ourselves a essence sword, and we did it all on our own. Gosh, I'm feeling good. So the cool thing about this, never breaks, is plus two damage stronger than the diamond sword. So it's stronger than the diamond sword, never breaks, and it brings light, which means I can automatically place torches everywhere, I think. Can I? Or do I have to load it up, maybe? I feel like, I thought I could just place light, light bringer. Maybe there's a different button to do it, and am I, am I dumb? Who's on right now? Kermit, Kermit, how do I place torches with essence sword? We need to find the deets here. Well, I thought I could place light. I thought you just did this. Oh, I gotta be landed. Oh, there we go. Was it because I was flying? Or does it have to be in a dark spot? Who knows, guys? I have no idea. It, we, we just placed one, though. You can see one just popped out of there in no time. I don't know. It's really lit up here, though. So, apparent that, that works somehow. Uh, I'll figure it out after. So, that's cool. And now we never have to make a, another sword again, probably. Unless there's a stronger sword, which there probably is. Uh, and also, the other thing is that's funny. So, I moved. You can see I, I moved the pulverizer over here. Uh, it's all loaded up again and everything. Uh, it's been sitting there for about 45 minutes, so loading up the RFs and everything. But what was going wrong is the dust from my thing was going into the chest here, and it was actually just right here in the chest. So that that was it. It was actually working. It was just right in the chest over there. So that was that was my bad. And uh, yeah, my bad. I do want to get uh get this chest working there though. 32. I want two chests. Uh, let's do that. Like so, I want to attach two chests to that so that the dust just automatically goes in there. And then we can deal with it after. Just like so. So yeah, chest to there. And it should put... So let's start cooking up our gold ore while we're creating this next thing. And I actually, I did a lot of... You see, I got a lot of gold ore. So we can get a... Basically, with this thing, we can get a lot of gold. What's here? Oh, just a sheep. I was like, what's that? Uh, put you here, and then that should pulverize. Make sure it pulverizes right into the chest. Perfect. Two pulverized gold, and then we smelt it, I think, and it turns into gold ore. Uh, I actually do need to kill this sheep, though, because I need, uh, I need another bed from when they, when they did that prank. Ooh, and I need this pig for bacon. All right, cool. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is... Uh, Straub came over right before that last video, the evil surprise video. If you missed it, it's pretty funny. Uh, they pull a, pull some sort of prank on me here on, here on Cube Evolution. But basically, this is an XP store, store. So, right down here are just tanks. And I'll look that up. I don't even know how to make them. They're pretty simple, though. It's just, it's eight different tanks placed. I think. Yeah, right here, tank. So, obsidian and glass makes two. So, not really easy, but 
pretty easy. So there and there's that. And then this thing, you can see you just stand on it and gets rid of my XP and stores it here. And then if I want it back, I just uh I just right click this and I just get my levels. And then boom, I just let them go in here. And it stores them for me. So that's cool. I don't know what this thing is called. An extractor, maybe? Is that what it is? Extractor? Uh, XP extractor. Retru requires an empty container. It might be this thing. Uh, either way. He just he just made this for me really quick. So, I don't know. It's cool. Now if I die, I don't lose my levels. Uh, don't need that. So, next on the list, a portal gun. And mostly I want this portal gun. We're going to be making the bacon portal gun because it is, uh, then we won't link up with other people's portals. Bacon and potato gun are the ones that are just solely for your, your person so they don't link up to other people. And, oh, did I have 16 more splash fertilizer? Oh, I can place, I can get two more lily pads. I didn't even see that. Might as well. I'll take 60, I'll take two more lily pads. Just like so, and get him placed down real quick. Why not? I'll get him closer to uh, the glowstone here. Make sure this is all getting grown. And then the creepers as well. Skeleton? We don't even need to do skeletons for a bit. I have so many I have so many bones because the skeleton essence is so cheap. Uh, but I got three wither skulls from, from my seeds. So, first off, we need uh, the default portal gun. And that takes this iron diamond obsidian, so that's normal. But then we need this. So ender pearl dust is just an ender pearl smelted, which I'm doing already. And a nether star. We can actually craft one. Wither skeletons and like that. Soul sand, bow, and sword. And I have all those items prepared because I am so prepared, I think. Bloop, bloop, and three across. Nether star. Peaceful mode only. Oh, God. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's do it anyways. No! Peaceful mode only. What? Oh, no. Oh, you can't craft another star. Jeez Louise. I guess I gotta go fight one then. I gotta go fight a wither. Well, now we do have the supplies for a wither. Oh, jeez Louise. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even see that that was a thing. Did it say that on here? Am I just blind? No, it didn't say that here, so I'm not blind. <clears throat> and I don't have this tome of alkalis, so I can't do anything. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, we got to do it the uh, normal way and fight a wither. Thing is, I don't know if I'd win. <laughs> I don't think I have enough armor to win right now. I think I might want to get that essence armor first, so we might have to hold off on that for a bit here. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that was that was a, a big part of my plan today was to do that. So, oops, that didn't work out. You can see all the gold being smelted right now. All right. Well, plan didn't work out there. Let's use this soul sand, though, to uh, extend these farms a little bit. All right. Perfect. Well, we were going to link up to uh, link up to spawn so we could go back and forth to spawn. I thought that'd be pretty convenient. But that won't be happening anymore, Rushers. <laughs> I gotta fight a wither and I... We could try it. We could honestly go for it. But if I die, that would kind of suck. Uh, pig fat. I don't want that either. Alright, well. We'll see how things turn out. Instead, I did want to do something else. So apparently, lucky block. Lucky block farming. Uh, I'll have to take a cut here in a sec to prepare for that. Because I don't have many done. But 8 gold and then dropper is just redstone cobble. Redstone and cobble. So I'm going to farm a lot of lucky blocks. But you guys told me do not do it near my base. So I will be venturing out someplace else and uh, not doing it near my base. Because apparently you can get unlucky blocks and bad things can happen. So we will uh, avoid that at all costs. Uh, okay, well my plan for my plan for that. I need another star. You can see I got the eight ender pearl dust. One ender pearl equals eight dust. So I will do that uh, soon. All right, I'll get some lucky blocks ready. All right, guys, so we're back. And I got 18 lucky blocks. Uh, lots and lots of gold from that pulverizer. Farming to pulverizer to smelting. Oh, it gives me tons and tons of gold. Uh, I was short on redstone, though. I got to get my redstone farms going. So we got 18 gold blocks. I got four chests. I emptied my inventory just in case I die. Still got this kind of stuff. Should have gotten rid of my cloud boots, too, because I like them, and feathers are hard. Uh, but 
All right, so uh, we are bases over there. You guys told me don't do it near your base. I have not done research. I don't know what unlucky blocks look like. So we'll just do this, do some farming. There's some armor. Okay, there's a... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, we survived that one. <laughs> Look up. Oh, jeez. Two anvils come out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's try again. Nope. Nope. All right, so these are some unlucky blocks. Jeez, Louise. Look up. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to take take damage to anvils. All right, there's that so far. Come on, we need some good ones now. Give us some good ones. What's this? Lucky block book. Uh the lucky block book, fortunate block was brought to Minecraft by the gods to reward the good and punish the evil. The player's true self will be revealed after mining this block. Some fear it and others have been made rich by it. You must mine it and be prepared be prepared for whatever will follow. It is not luck, it is destiny. What does that even mean? <laughs> what the heck does that even mean? Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! Nether star, baby! Oh, we don't have to fight a wither after all! <laughs> oh, score, we got a nether star. Oh my gosh, we could have fought a wither though, we got a god apple. Oh my lord, lucky block comes up big. With a nether star. Ooh, some obsidian. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, what's this? Some wood, some apples. Don't need that at all. I'll take the wood, though. Just save me time in the future. Ten more to go. We're not even halfway done. Uh, paintings. I really will take paintings just in case. Actually, yeah, sure. I will. Just in case. Well, what's that? Iron block? Alright, I'll take you. Uh, I will use this to start my iron farms. I have to start iron farms. And iron farms also give me iron ore, hey? So I can use it on the pulverizer. That's exciting. Leather. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I don't need you. Okay, just making sure I didn't know what was coming down. Some potions. Invisibility. Three minutes, eight minutes, strength, two. Alright, I'll take some potions. Six to go. Look out! Look out! Oh my gosh. Fire resistance. There we go. Alright. Let's get our way out of here. Freaking lava almost killed me. <laughs> I got caged in under the freaking, uh, that thing right there. Alright, let's eat some. Oh, I didn't even bring food with me. Alright, we'll have to eat a golden apple. Alright, let's do it up here now. Alright, baby. Oh, jeez! Okay. So that's why we don't do it near our base. <laughs> Spawns in some TNT out of nowhere. This is exciting. Okay, some spawn eggs. I will actually keep these for sure. Because spawn giant! Oh, gosh. We got to do that by the end of the episode. I cannot resist spawning a giant. Three to go. Hang in there, Rusher. What is this? Two end portal frames, so, okay, we can almost get to the end now. Uh, we need, what, 12 of those, I guess? Uh, enchantment table. And a bunch of dye. I will take all this dye. What did it spray me with? No, nothing. A bunch of dye that maybe I'll need one day, I guess. I'll throw it in. I brought some chests, too, just in case we needed something. I'll throw all the dye in and we can come back for it some other time if we really want to. Because I know we can grow dye as well. So might as well have all these dyes here so I don't have to make them at some point. Boom, boom, ink sack, cocoa beans. I really want to spawn in a giant. That's got to be a good time. Spawning in a giant. Where should we do it though? Because I don't know if we'll kill him is the thing. No, you know what? I'll leave it till next episode and I want you guys to suggest how I do it, because I don't want to, like, waste it. Maybe we need the giant for something, and you guys will know if we do. So, wow, that was really exciting. Farming ne <laughs> farming lucky blocks is a good time, I now realize. That is, uh, that's, uh, it could go either way there. I don't know what this book, book does, though. I think it just tells me. I got another star, though, so let's make the portal gun, and then I'll link it up after the, after the video. This lucky block thing I'll keep for now. 
And I just made this chest here to store my inventory. And, oh, oops, I brought some random stuff back, too. I brought a die back by accident. Where is it? Right in here is my random chest. Cactus green, paintings, lucky block book, end portal frame. Golden apples and god apples have a place. Potions need a place. And I guess we'll do some spawn eggs, give them a place as well. Uh, Alright, well, let's uh let's make ourselves a, a portal gun here. And then I'll organize after. Portal gun, where are you at, baby? So we got five iron, uh, diamonds, obsidian, and then the nether star. So this has got to be, so, oh, I put it over here. So you can see I've got another 60, I've got another 100 pulverized gold, which is another 200 gold in there. So that's a lot. And then I've got, I think, another, yeah, another 100 gold in here. So I got 300 gold ingots from that, plus what I used on those 18, 18 times 8. So, yeah, close to four or five hundred gold from from those uh gold ores that I had. Alright, let's uh I can't believe we got a nether star. That <laughs> a nether star out of that. That's awesome. Alright, miniature black hole, done. Now I need obsidian. I have that diamond. I don't have diamond on me. But I do have lots of diamonds in here. Now what was the pattern? This, this, and oh I need to use iron quick. I guess I'm not using this iron block. I'll use. I still have lots of other iron in there. All right, what is it? How's it go? Four iron around like that. Okay. Zoop. Done. Obsidian. Iron. Diamond. Nope. Nope. There we go. Portal gun. And the reason I killed the pig earlier was for his pork chop to make the. Please work. Bacon gun. So the normal portal gun, the reason I can't use that is basically uh, it links to other people. So if someone else has already used the default portal gun, uh, if I use it, it will uh, it will link up and switch around the portal. So it's like everyone can use it. They're all interchanged. But the bacon gun is my own gun. So anyone can have a bacon gun and it doesn't interfere with each other. It's like a walkie-talkie. It's like my own channel, my own walkie-talkie. So if you don't know how the portal gun mod works, it's just like that. You go through, and you come out the other side. Bloop. Bloop. It's actually really convenient. I've never, I haven't played around with it much. Uh, so let's say I want to go over there. Let's head to my nether farms, everybody. Go there. Oh, hey, nether farms. So it's just quick, quick access. So we can do it uh, to spawn. We'll link it up to spawn. And my plan is just to have the two, the bacon and the potato. And just link up to two nice places. And if there is some other important place we do, uh, those are the two guns we get to use. So two portals. So yeah, I will uh, I will work with that and get a portal linked up to spawn soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cube Evolution. It was a fun time. Lots of stuff got done, I believe. And we are more powerful because of it. So thank you for watching. Uh, please come back next time. Touch that like button if you enjoyed today. And join the rushers by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you on board. Check out my server, pvp.thearchon.net, and have yourself a good day. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.